Right, welcome to section two. This is where we're going to install Shoutcast to Winamp. Um, so we're going to just check that we've got the software first. In bigger radio pack, install Shoutcast DSP 1.9.0 for your Windows. Yeah, the warnings. Click I agree. Untick the last box. You don't want that. And click next. And install. And then click yes. And that's it. You're done. So the next thing to do is just to start Winamp. This is important though, you need to start Winamp as an administrator because if you don't, when you make these settings that you're going to do next, you won't it won't save them. So next time you go to play on the radio, you'll lose all your server settings and you'll have to put them all in again, so it's a bit of a pain. So if you do this once, then it's done, you don't have to worry about it then. You don't have to run as administrator next time. But uh you do for the first time. So you just right click it instead of uh, double clicking and then you should have an option to run it as administrator in Windows 7 and Vista. If you're on XP you probably don't need to do this. So run it as an administrator. Click yes. Now when we make the settings it will save them. So when you run it you should get the shoutcast source come up. If you don't see that um, that's the plugin we've just installed. Uh, if you don't see it and it looks like that and you've just got the player then just go to options and preferences and make sure on this side you scroll down from the top down to see where you see plugins and DSP effect click that then on this side you'll then see a list of uh, options you need to make sure null soft shoutcast source DSP is highlighted and then if you just do a double click on that it will actually start running it there you go and you can close that options panel down and you've got your bit of software open you need now so whoops let's put it over here right so uh, let's just go and make those settings now so you need to make sure you've got your sound card selected not Winamp you need to have sound card because if you don't uh, it'll try and play the sound from Winamp which will be through the player here so you're bypassing that. You need to come from your mixer uh, on the, your setup uh, with two RCA jacks out of the master and you need to uh, plug them uh, you, you need to have a lead that is a R twin RCA to headphone jack uh, quarter inch headphone probably it goes straight into your laptop mic or into the line in on your uh, PC hardware so either way you'll be jacking into your sound card so you need to make sure that's selected um, then the sound will come from your mixer into your computer um, and then out through the internet um, so you also need to set the input settings as 44 kilohertz stereo and that's that panel done you need to go to encoder select encoder 1 change to mp3 encoder and change to 128 kilobytes a second 44 kilohertz stereo output uh, needs to be set at output 1 um, incidentally we need to make sure we're on the connection tab here not the yellow pages tab um, you don't want to connect at startups so leave that unticked then you need to make sure in this address you've got the details that are in uh, your oops let's just get them up the details that are in your instructions that are in the bigger radio pack let's just get them up now there they are okay so you need to put the details there from the server host so it says server host copy and paste that bigger radio dot host code dot de copy paste that into the address of the output configuration then you need your port as 3030 and you need to set your password make sure you type that correctly otherwise it won't connect uh, you also need to tick automatic reconnection on connection failure and set your connect reconnection time to one or two seconds because two seconds is fine because then when you do drop out if you do it'll reconnect very quickly so they won't lose any sound uh, any of the listeners won't lose very much sound so now the main tab is left uh, just a word about levels. Make sure your levels stay below uh, about my, well on about minus five dB. If you're going any higher than that, you're going to start clipping your sound. <coughs> it's going to sound uh, pretty crap. So just make sure that you've got your levels on your master on the mixer set and don't mess around with them. Then just set them so you've got your input levels about right, and then just you you just leave that then. Um, 
and uh, that's pretty much it um, so we're, we're pretty much ready to go with that um, the next thing we would do is uh, jump in the chat room and uh, we'll connect to the stream and start playing so you should be all ready to go uh, we're going to install the chat room next so you need to go on to section 3 see you later